I want to show you a few things here this week. This is for June 21st. Um, what we're going to go over today, a couple of interviews that I did, one with Jonathan Moore, inventor of More Balance Brace. Uh, Sean Lorden is kind of a savvy physical therapist. Um, Mark Letterman, I did an uh, uh, interview with him with a great tip about neuromas you might like. Um, uh, just some One of my favorite um, doctors is the Michigan Foot Doctors. They do great with um, developing recurrent revenue. I um, also want to talk about some of the updates to podiatry practice mastery. We're going to be closing things out when we get to 300 people, or I think we're at 256. And once we get to 300, then we're going to start charging. Uh, so just so you know about that. And then so I would go look at some of the stuff. And then uh, I'm going to end with a little video I did on uh, cell phone simplicity that might help out some people. Okay, so let's, uh, let's kind of get get right into it here. Uh, it's, uh, okay, so We'll, we'll start looking right here. Uh, the first thing we're going to look at, these were the two recent interviews I did. One was with Jonathan Moore. If you don't know John, he's invented the board balance press, but he gave a great lecture on um, DME and especially this same or similar. And uh, I put some resources in there that you might like. Really, really helpful. Also a great marketing guy, uh, Sean Lord. And so he has some great tips. So these are both videos. If you didn't want to watch them on video format, you can go here and get them on the podcast. And uh, if you go into the membership section or even the, um, the uh, right under podiatry practice mastery, you can get these uh, right here. Um, this is a, a also just a recent interview. For, just so you know, I'm putting the, the current interviews that I'm doing right when I, the day I do them, I'm putting them here. They don't show up on podiatry.com for like a couple of months. So this Dr. Letterman's here won't show up for about a couple of months, but he gave some great tips on shockwave. But more importantly, he gave a great tip about neuromas. Um, basically, it's a way of getting um, uh, neuromas covered with sclerosing injections. So I would invite you to watch that interview, and I'll put the links here underneath here. Um, that was great. Um, let's talk a little bit about the Michigan Foot Doctors. What I appreciate here that Tom does is he just really engages patients, and this is the call to action. So all of our stuff should have a call to action, and this is his, and I want to show you this. This is what's really cool. So he has kind of these warnings, these disclaimers down here, it says he makes an affiliate link. Tom, I'd like to know how much you make. Let me know if you're watching this, uh, but this is where they go to. So on his website, he has um, basically doctor recommendations. So foot and ankle products that are fulfilled by Amazon. Basically, this is an Amazon affiliate link, okay? So uh, for those of you that are nosy and questioning, I've made $20 on my affiliate link with Amazon. And I think it was, I think we were looking earlier today, six or 700 on my YouTube. Okay. So if you, it's never too late to start, you should get started. Um, and the only reason my YouTube is that much is it because that um, there was a kind of a fungus video that I did that everyone liked. Usually it's only about $30 a month. Okay. I spend more than I make on these things usually. Um, so he has all of his products here and you, if you click it, um, what you'll find is it goes to like different information about shoes and then where you can purchase them. Also right here, you're gonna find Amazon links. So each of these is called an affiliate link, okay? And when you click it, it'll take it to Amazon and you can buy it at one of these different places, okay? And it's an affiliate link, okay? So if you wanna to go to Amazon, it'll take you to Amazon and you can buy that shoe. It's kind of a neat thing, okay? Um, I also wanna share what's new in Podiatry Practice Mastery. I'm adding new content here all the time. Um, now on, on a Podiatry Practice Mastery, you can actually uh, I put this little thing so you can actually listen to the podcast right when you're here, okay, inside of it. If you want to go back and watch the videos, um, they're right here with this link, um, the weekly updates that we're doing, uh, the mini courses. I put um, more work here into the Shockwave. This is These are just the best videos I have found on Shockwave. If you do Shockwave, you should watch these. And Curamedics has a great resource with a lot of other videos there. Um, a little section on orthotic tips. Um, this is by Dr. Walt Ellis. I have to get him on the interview show. I think that would be great. And this is the CPD Academy. Uh, I don't think many people have seen Dr. Baum's book or anything like that. Here's an interview I did with him. But more importantly, there's one of his book downloads right here. So if you want to get this book download, you just download it. And he has great tips on um, doing a business and marketing and things. The most important thing that I've taken from him recently is recording my presentations and playing them when patients are in the office. Uh, and then also down here, you got uh, some other recommendations on audio video mastering, wall factor items and, and things like that. Um, so that's that. Um, 
the recommendations, I'm always adding new things to the recommendations. If you have other things that you think should be on there, uh, please let me know. Once again, thank you for being part of Podiatry Practice Mastery. Let me know what you think. If like I'm talking too much, if this isn't valuable, if you want to hear more things, what we'd like to learn uh, more of, if I can help you, I will. Um, I'm going to end with a little um, video I made on my cell phone on how to increase simplicity uh, on the on the cell phone. Okay, so let me see if this this pulls in here uh, for you to watch here. Okay, thank you. Hey guys, Don here. Um, I want to show you a little bit about just uh, the layout of my phone uh, to simplify things. First, I want to show you about this aspect of, of no distraction. So this is my main cover, and there's really no distraction on this first uh, screen. All I have is my uh, button right here for the phone. I have my button for my voicemails and my text messages, but none of these have reminders. So the way I have to see them, they don't have any of those red reminder buttons, so that's the first thing. Uh, on my second screen, um, I have this way of composing messages without actually opening my email to reduce distractions. Uh, I have brain toss. This is that thing where I can send uh, messages to myself. Once again, audio messages usually is what I use. And then I have Audible, which is my books. So let me show you here the way this compose works. I hit compose and it actually opens up my email directly. And that's all I have to do. It works really well. And then a lot of times, as I've mentioned before, uh, the most common things I use are like uh, follow up then. So I'll use like maybe I want it to arrive on Monday. So you have Monday at follow up then, or if I want to send myself a text message, it'll say Monday 8 a.m. So at Monday at 8 a.m., it'll send me a text message and I can remind myself of, I don't know, like get milk or something like that. And if I do get milk and then it'll send me that text message. Okay. That's how, that's how that works. Okay. With the, um, with that, with the, with the email. Brain toss, the way that works is I click brain toss and it has three options. I can type a note, I can record a note, or I can do a photo. So what this does is it actually sends it to my email inbox and then I have a special, it forwards it to a folder that says brain toss. So I, I have everything automatically forwarded to different folders so I'm not overwhelmed in my inbox. And um, so I, I click the voice and I say, um, I would like to do another blog article about brain toss and about other things uh, in terms of podiatry practice mastery. I hit end and then it's done and then it automatically sends it to my email. So it's a really neat thing you can do on the weekend so you don't have to be distracted. Once again, all these things are at reducing distraction. And then at the end, you'll also see I have Audible right here because I listen to a lot of books. I have uh, books that are business books and books that are non-business books. This is um, Surly, you're joking, Mr. Feynman. It's a guy about this physicist. So these are things I listen to on the weekends. Um, Subscribed is one of the newest books. The new m rules in marketing and PR, Million Dollar Habits. Uh, Winning Through Intimidation, this is a good one. The Secret Advantage, The Five Dysfunction of the Team. Expert Secrets, these are good books as well. So those are the books I'm listening to these days. So that's the second screen. And then the third screen is I have um, a couple of these other things uh, that I use. Um, I'm, I'm trying this one. It's not really working that well. I typed out different podcast ideas. So I have them uh, right here. Kind of it pulls up different ideas uh, for podcast things. Um, I have some podcasts. I don't use this that much. That's why it's over here. I don't listen to many other podcasts. I'm too busy making making stuff. Um, I use this every single day. This is the guided Wim, Wim Hof breathing. And then I have some of my travel apps for when I travel. And that's all I have. Everything else is hidden. So let me show you this guided Wim Hof. This is kind of a fun thing. Um, this actually goes right here. I just finished this actually. Uh, this is a guided breathing session. It's a guided breathing session. Relax to the deepest. Every morning. It's about 11 minutes long. It's a good way to kind of start the day, uh, but it's by this guy named Wim Hof. So I just want to show you kind of some of the, the hacks I use for my, my cell phone. That's how I really have. If I need other stuff, I can search for it, but um, those are the main things that I use and that, that's how I kind of keep myself less distracted. So hope that was helpful.